everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some DIY home decor ideas that you can use in your bedroom or around the house. I'm really excited about these, I absolutely love them and I hope you guys will too. And of course, all of these DIYs are super affordable to do on a budget. If you like DIY and lifestyle videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be informed of all of my future videos. I would love to have you guys stick around. And yeah, let's just get into this video. First up, I want to show you guys how to make this really fun cactus light and it's so very simple to make and you can make it in a lot of different shapes if you would rather do something different. You will need a wire coat hanger, a wooden plaque, some battery operated firefly lights and some jewellery pliers. Start by taking your jewellery pliers and untwist the hanger. Once you've done this, straighten it out as best as you can and make sure there's no kinks in it. This will make making the shape so much easier. Decide where the wire is going to stand on your plaque and then bend the wire in shape. This is going to be your first bend. And then you can go ahead and start making lots of different shapes and bends in the wire to create the shape you'd like. As I said, I'm doing a cactus so this is a very simple shape to make you could do like a heart or a star but I think shapes with kind of curves in them and things like that are much easier to make make sure the bottoms are flat so that you can stick it down to the plaque and then I went ahead and painted both my pieces silver to make them look the same you can do whatever color you would like and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a glue gun on this to glue this down to the base this worked really well for me because the glue was very thick and tacky and it helps create a foundation foundation for your wire to sit on. Once you've done that, make sure to go over it on top of the wire with the glue gun as well, just to make it really secure. Once that's dry, go ahead and wrap your lights around the shape. I'm using battery operated firefly lights and I actually wrapped the wire around the battery pack which made it so much easier to weave in and out of the shape. And then you're done. It's as simple as that and I think it's really effective. Like I said, you can make any kind of shape you'd like. If you do make something, do show me on Instagram or Twitter, tag me and I'd love to see them. Next up, I'm going to show you how I decorated this light cable. I think it turned out really nicely and it's so simple to do, it won't take you more than about five minutes. You'll need a battery operated light cable. This is really great because it doesn't plug into the wall. You'll also need some wool and some scissors. And this is what mine looks like. I did lose a bit of the footage when I started it, so I'm going ahead and adding some more yarn in. So all I did was tied it in a knot and snipped off the end with some scissors and then went ahead and did about 20 loops and then tied it in a double knot at the end. And then go ahead and cut off all the extra little tiny pieces of yarn that you've got sticking out. And then you're done. That's literally it. You could actually decorate this with so many different things like beads, or maybe you could use fabric or something. I think that would look really cool. This is the finished result. And like I said, it's great because you don't plug it into the wall, it's battery operated. So you can just string it on a hook on your wall. Next up is this very simple driftwood hanger and this is a great way to display your jewellery, your scarves or any kind of accessories that you want hung up on your wall. You'll need some craft paint, you'll need a piece of driftwood and you will also need some small hooks. So start by painting your driftwood and I did lose a bit of this footage too so I'm going back in with the paint just using a small detailed paintbrush and creating different sizes of stripes with different colors of paint as you can see here and because it's driftwood I didn't want this to look too perfect so I didn't use any masking tape just go with it and don't worry if it's a little bit messy then once it's dry you can go ahead and screw in your hooks and then once you've done that you can also add a piece of string to the top I'm using using some paracord and I'm just tying this in a double knot at the end and then hanging it from a command hook on the wall. And that's it, it's very simple and it's very cheap to make because obviously driftwood is free and string and hooks are things you might find around your house. And here's a fun way to upcycle any tray that you might have that you might want to display any little knickknacks on. So you will need a tray or photo frame. You'll need some very thin strips of balsa wood. You'll also need some spray paint if you want to paint your tray, a glue gun, and some scissors. So I obviously went ahead and painted my tray white, and then I'm just using the balsa wood and cutting it down to size. I cut two strips, 
and I am having them side by side because one strip of the original balsa wood wasn't big enough. The great thing about this wood is it is cuttable, it's pliable, it's malleable, it's so simple to use. You don't need any other tools, you just need scissors. So all I'm doing is I measured it and now I'm fitting it into the tray and just using some hot glue to glue it in place. It's such a simple way to upcycle an old tray that you might have. You could also stain or paint the balsa wood too. I think that would look really cool, but I love the natural color. And here's how mine turned out. I hope this inspired you to go ahead and upcycle something old and make it into something new. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.